Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, I just wanted to make a quick video about uh, a tweet I made that got put on Reddit about me saying that I did not really care about the cosmetic items and the loot boxes and stuff coming to Rainbow Six because you get a bunch of other stuff for free. And we'll go we'll go back over that in a sec. I'll give a little bit of background info. On uh, January uh, 25th, Ubisoft released a blog post saying that they were going to be keeping the Star Edition the same, removing the Standard Edition, and making a new edition, which is basically the Standard Edition. That was going to cost $60, and the Gold Edition and the Complete Edition would go up accordingly. Uh, you would additionally get 600 Rainbow Credits, 10 Outbreak Collection packs, uh, and, and all that. Um, I personally strongly disagreed with that. Uh, they also announced that they were going to be uh, announcing Operation Outbreak. There's going to be a collection Operation Outbreak for those who don't know what it is. If you haven't been keeping up, it's going to be a it's, a it's speculated to be a zombies infection type of mode or something like that. Not exactly sure what, uh, but it's going to be a PVE mode, which is like kind of like terrorist hunt, I guess. And it should be co-op and stuff like that, which will be cool. Um, but this is the thing that got everybody very mad, is they announced that they were going to be releasing Operation Outbreak packs, uh, which will not provide any gameplay elements and will only contain cosmetic items. So this means that the the, the items in the, the crates are just headgear. It's like all the stuff that's already in the game. Headgear, uniforms, charms for guns, gun skins, all that kind of stuff. 100% cosmetic items. They don't actually assist you in winning or uh, help you in any way in the game at all whatsoever. Uh, and uh, they announced there's going to be 50 items. There will be no duplicates. This is mainly the reason why I made this post. There will be no duplicates. Uh, you will have the entire collection. There's going to be different kinds of stuff, and I'll link all this below, and same with the tweet, uh, tweets and stuff like that. You can go through my Twitter, I guess, for that, but for this stuff, I'll, I'll link all this other stuff. Um, and I put that... Uh, this was my tweet that I made right after I read that blog post. I don't mind the cosmetic items, but raising the normal version of this game to $60 is a move in the wrong direction, especially with the recent boom. Star Edition also needs an upgrade edition for money. Uh, I know that everyone that buys it has buyer's remorse, so I'm disagreeing with this actively because there's some people that thought by making this tweet, I'm somehow, first of all, Ubisoft doesn't pay me anything personally, by the way, uh, that I'm some type of Ubisoft shell, which if you've ever watched any of my streams, you will definitely know that I'm extremely critical of Ubisoft and the balancing in the game and all these other kind of things uh, and always wanting the game to be better because I have thousands and thousands of hours i'm closing in on five thousand hours in this game so i love this game i want it to be great i want it to succeed uh and i don't think that this is that big of a deal personally the next day uh the rainbow six team makes a response that they were going to be rewarding so this is all of the a lot of people were really really mad there were tons of threads about i'm a veteran player i did how are you giving new players because everybody's getting four outbreak packs for free how are you going to give new players who just bought the game 10? It's like they upgrade, they, they, they made the game $20 more expensive. Uh, and, you know, I honestly, I did not care about that at all. It's really not a big deal. I've played this game since the very beginning in beta and stuff like that. And it's, that was not a big deal for me personally, but they were really cool about this. They gave everybody an Ash Sidewinder Elite skin for free. You just have to play one casual or one ranked game from now till, uh, what is it? March 6th. There you go. March 6th. Uh, and you get a free Ash Elite skin. So awesome. Literally, Ubisoft definition of not greedy right there. With the Ash Elite skin, probably could buy a small country with the sales from that skin. Uh, you know, for our newcomers, uh, they're going to be keeping the standard edition. So they kept the price at 40 bucks for the standard edition. Awesome. This is what I was... And for the starter edition, they'd be making changes to it, which is awesome. This is great. Hopefully an upgrade button. I don't know what these changes are going to be, but we'll wait, have to wait and see. Hopefully it's a positive thing. So after that, uh, I tweet out that the devs are the best because uh, they listen to us. Standard Edition saying at 40, Star Edition changes free Ash Elite. Great news for everyone, right? That should pretty much call the things, which some people actually complained about getting Ash Elite free and saying it devalues. Okay, never mind. That's a whole other story. Uh, also, I put also for everybody complaining about Outbreak Cosmetic Packs costing money. You get to play the Operation for free, new ops for free, new maps for free, free online, free Ash Elite, some out packs, all... So, you know, you get four free outbreak packs, all cost money to make. So stop complaining about 100% optional cosmetic items, which once again, can't be duplicated when you buy them. So uh, this gets put on Reddit and uh, people disagree. Some people just disagree with the fact that they are loot crates and you are gambling. 
Uh, there's other people that are kind of talking about, which once again, right, it's a big website. There's lots of people. There's lots of people that give personal attacks and stuff like that as is tradition. Uh, there's people that are saying that they make millions of dollars off the season passes and all this other stuff. I'm I'm fairly certain that yeah yeah Ubisoft probably would be okay, would would be able to survive off of these season passes, new sales of the game, all the other stuff. I'm sure I'm sure they probably could. Um, but the thing is, is I'm sure now that game sales are uh, you know there's a huge player base they have to support and all this kind of stuff and. They're not making. They're, they're they have a massive dev team. Like I know for a fact, they have a very large dev team that works on this game. So it's not an easy engine to work with. Um, I'm not saying they're struggling for cash. I highly doubt that's the. I highly doubt that's the case. But it's something that they're running a business. They're they're there to make money. They have a massive dev team. They put a lot of money behind this game. Um, they you know there's lots of server cost involved and all this stuff. So they do make a lot of money from this stuff. But it's really not that big of a deal to have other cosmetic items. The cosmetic items that you actually had to pay real money for in this game have always been very expensive. It just is what it is. Um, they're difficult to make. They're pretty intricate. I mean, if you, it, it's not the end of the world. They're just cosmetic items. They're completely optional. You can get tons of cosmetic items in this game for just playing with, with in-game currency that you earn from just playing games. Um, some people even say that like alpha packs are not that big of a deal. They're more tolerable because you can't buy them with real money. So the, so this is about money now. It is because alpha packs are real loot crates. They You can get duplicate loot crates from them. Uh, you can get duplicate items from them. So these are like real loot crates, but people have more of an issue with these because they're for real money. So the reason I don't have a problem with them personally, like I said, people are more than welcome to disagree, have their own opinions, all that kind of stuff, et cetera. The reason I I disagree with it is because there are no duplicates and they don't stat boost or do anything. They are 100% co like cosmetic items. They are 100% optional. There are tons of cosmetic. You could literally, there's some people that I know that have bought the game for $7.50, bought the Star Edition. They have like two, 3,000 hours in the game. They've bought, they have every opera in the game, tons of cosmetic, and they've never spent a penny more than the $7.50 that they originally purchased this Star Edition on sale for. So I kind of made like a little, uh, just like a little sheet. So if you had to buy all 50 packs for 300 R6 credits, which is $2.50 a piece, that's 15,000 R6 credits, 125 bucks. That is the maximum amount of money buying the smallest amounts of R6 credits. If some magical reason you need to buy 50, which everyone gets that currently owns the game before whatever March 1st or whatever it is, gets four packs for free. Uh, you get... So this will this will will be the mo the boat that most people. So this is this is if you buy all fifty and then you buy the huge pack. So if you go to the if you go to the in-game shop, there's a pack that you can get for ninety nine ninety nine. It's twelve thousand R six credits for a, a nine basically a hundred bucks USD, uh, and then you get a four thousand bonus, so sixteen thousand R six credits. That will be the boat. This will be the boat that ninety nine percent of people are in, uh, right here. So you would buy. Uh, that'd be 115 bucks if you bought them on the smaller price end. Like if you bought each pack individually, that's 13,800 credits. 13,800 credits here for 100 bucks, and you'd have 2,200 uh, spare credits left over after. So this is what the boat that most people be in. If you really do want all the all the packs, uh, this is worst case scenario for everybody. And then this is for if somebody magically had to buy all 50. So uh, there are people like complaining about all this stuff. And look at the at the end of the day. So, so people are saying that they wouldn't be complaining if there was, you know, like I, like I understand. That's fine if you want if you want to have a different opinion or something like that. But the fact that there's no duplicates, these are 100% cosmetic items, and you could just pay the the nine, uh, you know, the, the hundred dollars and get it and have spare rainbow credits left over. To me, I just don't see it as as big of a deal. If Ubisoft does something, trust me, I'll be the first one there to to call them out for it. But this to me personally doesn't seem like that big of a deal um i think it's an interesting conversation to have and like i said people are more than welcome to disagree have their own opinions that's my opinion personally uh and just thank you guys for watching and uh i'll, I'll see you guys in the next video take it easy